Hello guys, my name is Abdullahi Oreluwa Elizabeth and you are welcome to my channel. Alright, so today I'm going to be talk I'm going to be talking about the lessons that I have learned so far on my YouTube journey. But before I delve into the video, I just really want to say what inspired this video. First things first is that I've always like for about two three months i've had the idea of this video but i just really needed to eat a particular milestone first before putting this kind of content out there and i couldn't have eat this milestone without everybody that has subscribed to my channel old both old and new everybody that has watched my video dropped comments like all through the years or all through the time that i have started up to date so thank you guys so much like i absolutely appreciate everything that each and every one of you has done for me so let me just delve right into the lessons that i have learned so far in my youtube journey of course i'm still going to learn other lessons and maybe when i learn them i would always come back and i would always you know tell you guys or discuss it with you guys lesson that i have learned over time is that i am not less worthy of starting i'm not less worthy of owning a youtube channel than somebody else so you are not less worthy of you're not less worthy than another person and you are enough so what do i mean this is it i feel like we as human beings we 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 cannot you can nobody can understand your journey you you have the biggest revelation of yourself you know yourself better than anybody of course you might you might have not convinced yourself as much as you should have but even when other people do not totally understand your they do not understand where you are coming from but you know that you have the biggest revelation of yourself i know i'm parabolating so let me say this for instance yeah when i was about to when i was going to start my youtube channel if of course everybody says this and i think it, it is the biggest truth when i was about to start my youtube channel one of the things that one of the things that quite bothered me was you know the fact that what did i really have for people to listen to what was i going to put out there for people to listen to and that who who like who told me who gave me the f1 tree to think that people could actually listen to me of course i had to convince myself that i had to convince myself which is why i said you you have the biggest revelation of yourself i have people that i discussed it with and they just dismissed it they laughed at me and they were like what are you going to talk about Do you want to go and talk about jesus of course i want to talk about jesus but i also i am going to talk about other things so i did not let anybody's um i did not let anybody's opinion of me determine who i who i saw myself as of course would it affect you yes but you need to know that it is not about any other person it is more about you it is more about why you really want to start your youtube channel and it's more about the things that you think that you can achieve through it so focus on your journey and let yourself know that you are not less worthy of starting a youtube channel than somebody else that you've seen on youtube that has probably you know that has done so well with their youtube channel everybody starts you know once everybody starts from a particular step which leads me to my next point one step you know it just takes a step a step is the beginning of the rest of your journey a step is the beginning of the rest of your life i mean or whatever it will end up as so what do i mean if you need to you need to you know when people say things like i mean i've heard it a lot and i'm sure you have heard it a lot especially if you you are someone that intends to start a youtube channel i have heard it a lot and so would you have that when people say just start because most of the time i've realized that we as human beings we we know how to make excuses we know how to make excuses and the more excuses you keep making the more excuses that would keep coming up so if you want to start your youtube channel are you telling yourself that oh i don't have a good phone yet i do not have good lightning i don't have a proper phone i don't have a laptop to edit i need microphones i need ring lights and all of that they would i'm just here to tell you that there would always be things that you need there would always be other things that you need to start youtube but you can start from the little ones that you have. Of course, I know that that sounds really easy to say, but so it doesn't feel like I'm coming from a place of extra entitlement. Of course, um, but just, just try to make do with what you have. And one thing that is really, I feel like one thing that is even so big for me is when you even start with what you have, when you look back 
you know, in the future, you see all the things that you have been able to achieve, you'll be able to tell yourself that, look at me. It was me that was using this particular camera. It was me that was using this particular lightning. It was me that, you know, some people started off YouTube with just their phones and sunlight. Do you get? Some people did not have ring light to start with. Some people started off lucky, but do not just don't 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 hold yourself back allow yourself to fly i mean there's one quote that i love so much it says um it says oh my darling it, um what what if like what if i fly and then the question what if i fly and i break my leg what and then there's a particular response that goes what if you fly and what if you saw i'm sure i'm not saying that properly well but i just really hope that you get my point which leads me to the next lesson the next lesson that i have learned so far would be not to not to expect that i would be entirely prepared i'm sure this seems like what i just mentioned not to expect that i would be entirely prepared or not to box myself into you know not to pull myself not to try to fit myself into a box so what do i mean by this so yes let me just let me start with this when i was going to start my youtube channel because of course you don't start a youtube channel without making research without watching videos and see what other people have to say about it but you know there was this particular video that i watched and it was seen and it said that i had to have 30 like 30 contents at least minimum of 30 contents before i could start my youtube channel and my god when i watched it i know i can still remember the fear like i had so much fear because in my head i was like nigga i don't even have up to 10 contents yet so why would you tell me that um why would you tell me that i need to have 30 contents written down so which is where i'm going to come in of course when i heard that i i even discussed it with my friend at this point i'm going to be giving her a shout out shout out to you olu bumi pumpkin esther if you guys know her you can just if you know her just help me just help me tell her thank you and of course if you do not know her just you can tell her thank you in the comment section so when i discussed it with her she was like i beg that that one is doesn't really make sense and if you really check it there are so many people that started off doing something else in youtube and they are no longer doing that particular thing that they are doing look at people like ronke raji ronke raji did not start off making these kind of videos if you go back to ronke raji's old videos ronke raji started off um doing um makeup content photography content but now she's more of a lifestyle focused on her family and her husband and you know that kind of stuff so which is why i said don't fit yourself into a box i mean who created the box anyways i just recently posted a post i know that i'm rushing i talk quite fast but let me calm down i just recently posted something on instagram a post on instagram where i said that who actually created these rules that we try to box ourselves into just allow yourself stop don't make excuses you will never be absolutely prepared it's as little as when people come and ask you why do you actually really want to start your youtube channel excuse you i want to start a youtube channel i'm not giving that i'm not i'm not saying that i'm giving excuses for people that just come to youtube and are absolutely clueless about what they want to do but if you have some point you know the things that you are passionate about i know that these are the kind of things that you would like to speak about in the future you do not have to box yourself into a box is that tautology yeah but you get my point i mean if you go through my channel if you check um if you even check my first video i i said the things that i wanted to speak about on youtube of course am i still saying things that in that are in that line yes but i never knew that i was even going to you know further focus more on doing movie reviews and my movie reviews have been doing quite well they've been doing really well so imagine if i had boxed myself into a circle and said oh these are the things that i want to talk about and i didn't allow myself to explore i'm not saying i am not the i'm not even the you get i'm not the yardstick for this because there's so many people that are doing amazingly well what's i mean i just have 500 subscribers but me i constantly just always remind myself that i do not have to be someone else so what leads me to the next lesson my next lesson would be that i need you need to be that and I, I learned being authentic and of course you also need to be authentic in your youtube journey or whatever it is that you are doing with your life so what do i mean by this being authentic i mean when when i started youtube it's so easy it's so easy to start youtube and just go with the flow it's so easy to start youtube and just you know derail from your actual plan because first off youtube is more is a very technical app most videos that do well on youtube there do you get there are some certain videos that do well on youtube i mean even when i started i even created a list of videos that i felt like they were doing really well i watched videos i did my research but at every at every point 
that I tried to create these videos. It just felt like, nah, this is not me. These are not contents that are original to myself because that's one thing that is really important to me. One thing that is very important to me is to be myself, to be true to myself. So I'm just saying this to you, be true to yourself, be authentic. Don't jump at every trend that you see. I mean, so many people would walk up to you and tell you, hey, this is a jump at, jump at trends. You know, talk about the things that are trending on Twitter. But just do you because when they are not there anymore, it is you that will be left with yourself to create your own content that people would watch at the long run. I know that, oh, this is this babe. I know that, okay, they are thinking about particular stuff. They are thinking about you. So you need to be authentic. You need to be your true self. Don't try to be like your favorites. Of course, your favorites, they are doing amazingly well. But they did not start out that way. They started from somewhere and they groomed themselves. Don't let your video be, your videos be like second, you understand me? Because I've seen people on YouTube that, okay, it feels like they're doing really okay. But when you watch their content, it's just like, nah, you're just recreating somebody's exact content. So be authentic and be true to yourself. And one other thing is that I, I for one, I feel like when somebody's authentic, like authenticity, authenticity is so attractive being authentic is attractive let me say that so that i don't remove my tongue being authentic is super attractive so you need to stay true to yourself the next lesson that i have learned from my youtube journey is that nobody can cheer you on as you will cheer yourself you need to be your greatest fan you need to be your greatest supporter you need to be like number one on your fan base list you cannot allow somebody come from outside and top your fan base for you you need to be there you need to be the one making the loudest noise about yourself will people scoff at you definitely will some people look at you and say to girl you're going to put you well that's their problem if you don't push your stuff who is going to push your stuff for you you should always make the noise i'm not you know this is one great thing that i like about these lessons that i'm sharing i feel like they are not just youtube specific you need to be able to make the noise you start something push it by yourself make the loudest noise about it if anybody is angry if they don't like it let them move on you get if they don't like it well they could decide to do anything with whatever they feel but that's not up to you you need to cheer yourself up the best i have a point for that i have another point for that you need to cheer yourself up the best you need to put yourself out there literally put yourself in people's faces like if you don't see me you must choke i need to make you choke that's that's it for me you you need to make people choke on it like choke them choke them choke them till they watch it that's that's it for me like all the freaking time i'm sorry for swearing but that's it for me all the time yeah which leads me to my next but and this one sounds just as similar you know you need to celebrate your little very little wins you need to celebrate your little little win because these things it keeps spurring you it keeps want it keeps pushing you to even want to do more as little as when you eat 100 subscribers celebrate it when you eat 50 subscribers celebrate it when you eat 150 120 any number that pleases you that you want to celebrate because people might not understand but getting subscribers on youtube i actually think is quite hard you know after the people that you have subscribed after the people that know you have subscribed to your channel it's just left with you and you also to keep us there for more subscribers and even more video content so celebrate all of your little wins so which leads me to the next lesson that i've learned in my journey so far the next lesson would be to keep pushing to to show up to be consistent of course if you know if you've been following my youtube channel i'm sure you would almost be laughing at me that uh, almost like even if everybody's saying be consistent and stuff i have i haven't been the most consistent on my youtube journey do i think that i can really do better yes but you know sometimes there are, circum there are some circumstances that are beyond my control but at the same time no matter how no matter what i still keep pushing so this is as little as when i mean be consistent yeah when i mean keep pushing there'll be some days that you post and you're not you're not feeling as enthusiastic or you're not getting the you're not getting the energy as you as some days that do you understand but on those days on the good days and on the bad days you should choose yourself first you should cheer yourself on that anybody else will cheer you on I'm sorry for pointing to your faces. I'm sorry. But you should cheer yourself that anybody else will cheer you on. You need to do that. Which leads me to my next point. The numbers or the views 
they matter but just forget about them for some time forget about them i i'm learning to forget about them because i mean i even saw i saw a post on i saw it on salem's i'm trying to remember yes it was wisdom i would try to attach the post to this video while i'm editing it i saw the post and it says that imagine you creating a good content today i mean and you know within yourself that i think this content is quite good and then you come back to your video in one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, a day later, a week later. And it feels like, oh, well, this video is not doing so good. And you are very sad and you feel so, you know, you I, everybody, if you have a YouTube channel or any of these life issues, you understand what I'm feeling. When you're not getting as the feedback you think your video deserves and you're like, oh, this video is not doing so well and you want to delete it or then you decide to leave it. And then in four years time when you are in a better place your channel is in a better place then you realize that that particular video the views keep growing it keeps growing and growing and it's probably giving you even the highest money that you even ever thought so imagine if you had actually deleted that video it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't do you any good which is so one thing that i've learned is uh when i was going to start my youtube channel there was just this thing that i did and I feel like it, it has helped me so far and I really hope it still keeps helping me in the future. One thing that I did is I just told God, I told God that you see this channel, it's not just about me. You get, it's not just for me. Now me and God, they run them together. Do you understand? And aside that, I told God that I don't want to start a channel and sacrifice it at the altar of, I want to be, I want to please people now. Nah. I don't i don't want to do that i don't want to start a channel because oh i feel like oh people would like this people would jump at it and then no matter the reaction that i get from it i want to still be in a good place i mean now that i'm thinking about it you see, see sincerely in one of these days i really hope that i don't make a video and come to cry on this channel but this is it so let me just try to let me cast my mind let me cast my mind back or let me just i'm trying to let me try to um, let me tell you guys about a particular video see my first video if you check my first video did quite well my second video did quite well too but my third video was a movie review the first movie review that i ever did in my life i was so unsure you know i was i was so i was just do you understand but i did that video and i kept going back to it i kept going back to it and i saw that it wasn't doing so great it wasn't doing as well as i thought it was going to do because first of all i felt like my two first videos were doing quite well i mean my first video i almost hit 1000 like around the first day that i posted it so my third video i was not asking myself i was wondering like okay what was going on is a movie review don't people like nigerian movies and stuff but i feel like at that point i just told myself that or i remember that she said this that you were not going to you're not going to let what people think you're not going to let it affect your journey you're not going to you're not even going to dwell too much on all of these things because that's really not what i wanted what i want my channel to be about so i hope somebody else is somebody else out there is able to relate because years to come you will look back on these videos and i feel like we'll be able to smile i'll be able to smile you'll be able to smile which leads me to my next point one thing that i know that is very important in youtube is that feedback is amazing you need to hear from people you need to watch videos you need to be enlightened you understand we need to we need to keep watching videos to learn more you need to see what other people are doing you need to see what's doing really good you know in the youtube market so to say but at the same time you need to be able to filter the ones that suit you quite well and the ones that do not suit you quite well so like for instance here yeah, you know i mentioned in the beginning that i said i watched a video that said that i had to have 30 30 contents laid out before i started my youtube channel imagine if i had actually waited for that i probably wouldn't have started my youtube channel and now that i won't remember most of the most of the content that i wrote down before starting my youtube channel i have not even put them out there I have not even put them out there and i don't even think i'm probably ever going to put some some of it out there so i filtered that because i felt like at the end of the day i genuinely might not need it so which 
i feel like you could also do the same same goes for you know your friends your people that you roll in the same circles people that feel that oh this is what i think you should do these videos are boring these videos are they might not actually not understand it so do not judge them but pick the ones that just suit you well and go with it but don't don't just you know garbage in garbage out now nah, i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that and you're not going to do that so my next the next lesson that i think that i have learned from youtube would be community is important friends are important people are important to you to your growth and all of that people are important to you i mean you need to have a community of people because like now i know that even on some like on the on the days where my videos are not doing great at all there are some people that i can count on my five on these fingers that i know that they will definitely show up for me i have friends like that so you need to have friends like that so even if there will be two do you get i have a particular friend shout out to tj cinemi i would do it and Mushope, but Mushope has not been as consistent as she used to be like these people would always watch my videos and they would always drop comments i mean tj is as even on instagram if you if you know me quite well you know that you know tj tj so is she's like i can if i drop a video even if she doesn't watch it that day or she doesn't watch it in three days or a week whenever she watches the videos she would make sure to drop a minimum of two comments you get and by the time she drops two comments by the time i respond to her comments it already feels quite okay so you need to have a community of people that genuinely cheer you on of course i'm not saying that the people that do not know how to do that i'm not negating them but you also you need you need people that would come up to your channel and show up there of course at the same time we have people that you know we have people that will support us and even do the best for us in the background that people may not necessarily not see on the outside but you need to get a community community is very important so which leads me to my next and final point give yourself the permission to grow if you know me already you know that this is probably one of my best 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 quotes ever one of my best life mantras is give myself the permission to grow give myself the permission to fuck up like make mistakes make errors i will grow at it so this particular point i feel like i could literally build a house on it do you understand because i'm this kind of person and that's one of the things that i keep injecting to my to my brain to myself every day see if first off if i don't put myself out there nobody would nobody would see it i'm learning i'm still learning to put myself out there sometimes i still feel some kind of way but are, when i put myself out there if i fuck up i will dust my slippers and we will move in it i will dust my slippers and i will move so which at this point takes me to a particular post that i saw of blessing a bank on instagram i just saw it yesterday night and in my head when i said i was like this couldn't have come at a right time so she spoke about i think it's a um japanese movie i don't anime yes it's an anime you know i think japanese are the ones that do anime and if i'm wrong i'm sorry i don't watch i don't watch animes so she said that in this particular movie it was a series that it was going to be fight between gods and human beings so at each point it was like fight between 10 gods and 10 human beings and even though these human beings they were very they were very um uh what's that word they were very um they were they were committed yes they were committed to to the journey they were committed to that process even if they knew that they probably did not stand a chance next to the gods but they still kept fighting and the gods kept winning them until he got to a particular sh and then she said that until he got to a particular episode that there was this particular guy the guy's name was kojiro sasaki she said the guy's name was kojiro sasaki and that he was popularly he was popularly known for failing so to say for making mistakes and one thing that the guy had like he did constantly was he was always trying to fight he was always um raising fights with people that people that he knew could beat him do you get because and because for him at every point where 
he fought with them and you know they won the battle he was always mastering the ways they were beating him so he was already a master at making mistakes at at making errors at failing so he, he had already mastered so much so much that he was able to through that he was able to win the gods i'm not sure if that's how we ended but i think that's how we ended he was able to win the gods from years and years years and years of failing i mean if you don't allow yourself to make mistake i feel like people say it's if if you don't allow yourself to make mistakes it's better to make mistakes than to live with the regret of not even doing it at all yeah so like i always say allow yourself the permission to grow give yourself the permission to fuck up like at every point of your life steadily tell yourself that i steadily tell myself that i steadily 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 tell myself that if my videos don't if i oh yes next time i've learned from it and i've moved on i necessarily do not have to be a perfectionist you know just if you try to live your life being a perfectionist am i saying do average stuff well people that do average stuff they grow one day to people that do awesome stuff but just you know let all everything just flow the way to flow and all of that i'm already getting very emotional i'm always emotional about topics like this so you guys i'm so thankful if you have watched my video up to this point i'm genuinely very grateful thank you guys so much for all the love that you show me thank you guys so much for all the love that we'll keep showing each other in the future and i really hope that these tips or these lessons they have been of use to you if you think they've been useful to you please kindly share with me which if which of the lessons you found most useful or which one you have been able you you can quite relate to and if you think there are other things that you want to share with me in the comment section please by all means my comment section is yours you get use it use it as 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 it pleases you so please kindly like this video please comment drop your comment share this video with your friends and kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you guys so much for watching Thank you guys for always coming back. I love you so much. Bye.